I'm Kelly Bryce. I'm Matthew Bryce. So the impact that my mom had on my faith, um, I think the first thing that comes to mind is <clears throat> the Lord and bringing me up in the nurture of the Lord. Um, her and my dad uh, got saved when they were a few years um, into their marriage, so by the time I came along, they were going to a Christian church, and so I had the benefits of growing up in the Christian church. So um, I was about age eight where um, I just saw the need to be saved, and I just thank the Lord for them bringing me to church and seeing them enjoy church and enjoy the fellowship of other Christians and bringing me to youth group and so the first thing that comes to my mind is the Lord. So as I've grown um, as a child thinking of my mom, um, she was the one that led me to Christ. So. Yeah, so at the age of seven, um, I remember sitting, sitting on the stairs at the house that we grew up in and she different questions and stuff similar to Kelly's parents my parents were saved a few years into their marriage as well and I think even that might have been when I was three or four when they first started attending church and and getting involved with different ministries that were there and she, we were sitting on the stairs and she I just asked her questions and she gave me the answers and said do you want me to pray with you and that's what we did. So as I think back through the years and think of uh, the impact that she had on our family, I think that um, throughout my whole life she always had um, sermons playing from the church that we were going to or Christian music playing or um, her and my dad were constantly involved with a youth group, running youth group and doing Sunday school and helping out and my mom now is um, she's gone back over the past 20 years back to nursing while working at the hospital she took some time off for a period of time while we were growing up um, but she just loves to help I mean right now she's working at Morton and that's a, the COVID center and she loves it I think the the biggest thing with her is that she just loves to help and she loves to be a part of um, either praying with people or uh, sharing the gospel with people, whatever it is that she can do. And I think that's, that's had a, a big influence on even me wanting to help people and, and uh, you know, just caring about what other people feel or think and just trying to live that out. And I think that's been prevalent in my brother and my sister and even my whole family. So now even in our family, you know, we try to do the same thing, just looking for opportunities and praying for opportunities to either help or serve, even if it's just each other or however we can and, and what we're doing. My mom exemplified the love of the Lord in the support that she always gave me. That's another thing that has come to mind, um, is just her support, always there for me, as the Lord is always there too for me. Um, she's always at games that I'd be playing for athletics, school productions, um, and still is now for my children too. So that love of the Lord has just really been exemplified through um, her support of me. Think about how the Lord loves me and how he's forgiven me and uh, just really desires and is jealous for a relationship with me and that's just amazing we've recently just pondered that truth about the Lord's desire to have relationship and friendship with us um, when we are his child so thinking of him as the groom and us as the bride and then relating that to a marriage it changes things up a little bit how the Lord pursues us and how he just desires being with us and a relationship with us so uh, we've really in 
enjoy that example and then just trying to pursue each other and enjoy each other more and be intentional um, with each other more. So that example, the Lord has helped us in our marriage. So I think the influence that um, having Christ in my life has had over our marriage is extremely similar to how she just ended uh, what she said is that, um, you know, I, for a good year we've noticed uh, many places in scripture where um, where we are his bride and he is our groom and um, just that's a pretty tough example for me to have to live up to um, but in the same sense just trying to even take portions of that and try to love her uh, the way that Christ loved his church and if I love her then the blessings come from that um, and it also just helps me to understand as as he is our groom and we are his bride, thinking of the forgiveness that he has for us, loving her and cherishing her and, and uh, pursuing her and, and uh, going after her like Christ comes after us. That's, that's kind of how I viewed my role through Christ in our marriage.